So I did three pictures with Jack Nance, and he was one of the most wonderful human beings I've ever met. Um, we, we did uh, Meatballs Part 4. We did Voodoo and Little Witches. And I'll never forget on Voodoo, uh, we were having a problem. We knew that we had to drive Jack to location and return him home. That wasn't an issue. We knew that when we hired him. And I asked uh, the agent if it would be okay if one of our production assistants could just pick him up on the way to work. And, and as it turns out, scheduling-wise, he wasn't always in the first shot and he wasn't always in the last shot. And budget-wise, we didn't have a lot of production assistants. So even though Jack was acquiescing to our demands of being willing to be shuttled around by um, non-professional drivers, we had a crew that was so small and so sparse, we found days where there just wasn't anybody to move him around. So I would jump in the car and I would pick up Jack and I would drop him off. And, and on one day in particular, we're driving to work. And, and Jack, there's no secret, he, he drank. And it's the reason he had met an early death is because of a, an argument he got in with somebody while he was drunk and the guy struck him in the face and it created a cerebral hemorrhage and he died. And uh, he was discovered later dead. Anyway, rest his soul. On this particular day, uh, he was not drinking during our show. He was very professional. And, and he, I mean, I can't tell you how professional he was. He was. And I loved him. I mean, like a brother, I loved him. So I'm picking him up and driving him to work and he's like... I'm hungry. So, okay, Jack, I know you're hungry. Can't we just stop and get something to eat? I said, well, Jack, we got to get to the set. As soon as we get to the set, I'll get back in my car and I'll get you some food. And then we're driving down. He goes, burgers. Can't we get a burger and a beer? <laughs> I go, no, no, Jack, <laughs> we got to go to work. <laughs> and uh, I attended his uh, remembrance and, and there was a lot of very important men there. And David Lynch was there because of a racer head. And, and he spoke on behalf of Jack. And he told the most amazing story, which I'll never do justice, but I'll try and say very quickly, was uh, David was returning from a shoot which brought him down Lincoln Boulevard at the time that the sun is coming up, dawn. It was a night shoot. And David's simply driving home. But on his, and, and being a director, Everybody knows the director doesn't have to stay and, and wrap all the equipment and everything. So by the time David is actually uh, driving down, the sun's been up for a couple hours, and it's probably around 7.30. And there's a liquor store on the corner, and there's Jack Nance sitting in front of the liquor store. And the liquor store is closed. It doesn't open for whatever time it is, another 30 minutes or so. David stops the car, the, the way he recounted the story at the eulogy. He goes over to Jack and says, Jack, what are you doing? I need a drink. What, what could be possibly go so bad in your life that you have to start your day with a drink? In my apartment building, a pipe broke and all the water's running out. Well, just, just call the building manager and have him attend to it. I am the building manager. Jack Nance, rest his soul.